In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about duplicating items in Miro so you can really speed up your workflow. If you're not familiar with Miro, Miro is an online collaborative whiteboarding environment. It allows you to work in real time with other people on all kinds of designs. Its large zoomable canvas is excellent for running meetings and workshops, for working on designs and ideation activities, and really any time where you would be reaching for a whiteboard or wanting to collaborate with other people in a very free and unstructured way. Miro has been one of my favorite tools for years, so if you're looking for this kind of whiteboarding environment, I highly recommend that you check it out. So whenever I'm working with clients doing a workshop, or if I'm just collaborating with teammates, one of the things I've found to really increase my productivity is by getting good at duplicating things when I'm using Miro. So today I'm gonna to teach you three different ways that you can duplicate things in Miro and when it makes sense to use them. So the first use case is using the tried and true copy paste method just with keyboard shortcuts. So in this example, you can see I have several multicolored sticky notes. I'm gonna click one, tap Control C on my keyboard. And then the trick here is wherever your mouse is pointing at is where it will target the paste. So if my mouse is right here and I hit paste, the sticky will go right where my mouse is at. So if I want one here, it'll go there, over here, and you can very rapidly go through and duplicate several stickies right in a line uh, wherever you want. So this technique is very useful if you just want to duplicate the same item multiple times and you just want to kind of quickly fire it directly into a certain area wherever your mouse is at. Now this doesn't work as well if you're trying to duplicate things that are different. So if I wanted to make a copy of each of these things in various positions, I would have to use copy paste for each one, which may not be quite as efficient. So the other technique I'm gonna show you is one of my favorites. I've gotten almost a muscle memory for using this in Miro, and that is the alt drag technique. So if I click on one of these items, I hold down alt or I think option on a Mac and drag while I'm doing that, it will create a duplicate to wherever I'm dragging it at. So this is kind of nice because I can quickly drag different kinds of items, and the alt just very quickly works. So you can drag, 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 whatever you want. You can also you know, highlight multiple groups of things and drag a cluster of things. So if you wanted to give someone a stack of stickies in a session, this would be a very quick way to lasso some stickies and then alt drag wherever you want those items to go at. So that's probably the most handy trick and the one that I would recommend getting used to is the alt drag technique. Now the last one is a keyboard shortcut for duplicate and that's simply hitting Control D while you have an item selected. This one is handy if you're just kind of wanting to go in a line because it will continue to duplicate and space out appropriately from the item that you have selected. All right, so those are my tricks for duplicating items that I really think is just a, a basic technique that if you get really used to it, it will allow you to more quickly collaborate and even to take notes and do some of these mural boards in real time while a meeting's happening without having you know, keyboard shortcuts or mouse drag menus or things slowing you down in the process. This is just the first video in a series of Miro tips that I have to share with you. We'll talk about many other things such as being able to quickly find a new project that you've been added to or a new team that you've been added to and adding frames, how to work with frames, how to collaborate with other people more effectively, ways to bring in other canvases and to create your own canvases so that they're easily usable in a group setting for people that aren't familiar with Miro, as well as many more. So if you're interested in this, please stay tuned for more content in the future. If you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button so I know this was valuable for you. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please remember to click subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I publish new content. We're gonna have lots more quick tips like this one, as well as longer form content, really allowing you to deepen your skills on various topics. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.